Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who haven't been here before, my name is Lori Hill and I make videos about plastic surgery and cosmetic procedures. My goal is to show you that beauty is attainable. It's also to remove some of the mystery behind plastic surgery procedures. If those topics interest you, then I highly recommend that you subscribe. If you're interested in beauty related topics, make sure to subscribe to my second channel, which is about all things beauty, Lori Beauty, and I'll put the link down below and at the end of this video. Also, follow me on TikTok where I post video clips of my latest videos, as well as Instagram where I post before and after photos of celebrities. Today I thought it would be fun to do some reactions to popular plastic surgery TikToks. So let's get started. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry for what I have put you through. I still have you on my mind, my mind. My focus been drifting away from you. Just wasn't our time, our time. She looks gorgeous. Wow. I really like this example because do you see how her nose isn't right away tiny, tiny nose and the swelling's all down? This is a very realistic example of what you can expect from a nose job in the real world. I mean, most people don't have near perfect noses and then they're getting just a little bit shaved off. Like most people who get nose jobs have larger noses and they're going to a less large nose that just fits their face. And I think she even added like a side, she added a side note here saying that she's still really swollen. I guess people were leaving her comments saying that her nose is still big. The thing about that is most faces do well with just medium sized noses. Her face wouldn't have looked good with this teeny tiny nose. I love the nose that she got. And it's a very realistic portrayal of a nose job in the real world and what you can expect going from a larger nose to more of a medium nose. She looks gorgeous. And this is actually what I was just talking about. Here's someone who was already very pretty and had a great nose and she just wanted a little bit shaved off. Her nose now is, you know, quote unquote, perfect. And this is used as um, a typical nose job example, but this nose job before and after is really not at all typical of the usual plastic surgery nose job patient, in my opinion. People who just need a tiny bit of shaving like this are more rare. Did it make her more beautiful? I, I would say no. I would say she's just as beautiful before as she is after. Oh, looks like a revision rhino from Dr. Lee. Wow. That looks beautiful. And it says that he used rib cartilage. This is a gorgeous rib revision. And I love that her nose isn't big and bulky after the rib revision. Sometimes you can get a bigger and bulkier nose for a while after getting rib in it. But hers, it doesn't look like she had that issue at all. Whoa, what? Wow. Well, she looks beautiful. I don't know what she had done, but her whole face was swollen. I mean, she was a pretty girl before. You can't, you can't deny that she had all the workings of a pretty face before, but it's like they did some tweaks that just really made her pop, made her features pop. She looks amazing. Wow, she got cheek implants. Yeah, they look really good. It looks like she went from a long and slender face to more width to her face, and it really suits her face. And cheek implants aren't for everyone, but for the right person, they really can make a face look beautiful. She got liposuction and a chin implant, so let's see it. 
I like getting money, I got time to get it Target on me, so my car's a tenny Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it Bobbing in the dash and the stick is with it And I hit the 4-5 on the wet side Wow, that chin implant really brought her profile together. Like it's everything evened out. Now you can definitely see she has a jawline. She looks really good. She looks beautiful. Now that I'm getting more comfortable with this TikTok reaction stuff, I'm just randomly looking up procedures and seeing what we could find on TikTok. Okay, so let's go. Uh, let's look up buckle fat removal. One month until buckle fat removal, three weeks, two, she's beautiful. Two days until she gets it, the morning of, and two hours after surgery. And she's swollen. <laughs> she looks beautiful in her after, like wow. And then do you guys see how she doesn't have that carved out cheek um, on either side of her face? Like that's actually not buckle fat removal. That for some reason everyone thinks that that really hollow, hollow cheek is buckle fat removal. It's actually more than one plastic surgery procedure. It's not just buckle fat removal. Generally, buckle fat removal looks like this. It just looks like a slimming down of your face. It doesn't look like they carved into your cheek. And she was the perfect patient for it because she had a bit extra facial fat. I'm not a big proponent of buckle fat removal, but I do know that people like it. So she looks beautiful. Let's see if there's any other buckle fat removals. Okay, she got jaw, lipo. Okay, looks really good. Fat transfer to her cheekbones and jawline for definition. Okay, yes, she's more defined. That's her before buckle fat removal. This is her after. Okay, so she definitely got that more defined look that she was going for. It's definitely more of like that Instagram glamour face that she has. She looks beautiful. Another really good patient for buckle fat removal. And she looks beautiful afterwards. Like, wow. Gorgeous. She's like a really good candidate for buckle fat removal because once they popped it out, once they popped out those buckle fat pads, do you see how everything just lifted upwards and now she has this really pretty diamond shaped face. By the way, you guys, I do wanna mention that I am, um, I just realized that I've been calling people she. I haven't been checking if people are binary or non-binary and I'm not trying to misgender anyone. If I have misgendered someone, please let me know because I don't want to do that. And I just wanted to kind of do these on the fly. So not everybody in their profile identifies what they want to be called. I'm sorry if I have misgendered anyone. It was not my intention. Let's do a uh, blepharoplasty. Okay, she says she had excessive eyelid skin. Oh, yes, she had hoods. Yes, she probably had a lot of issues putting on eye makeup. Day of surgery, Valium, she was awake during surgery. Post-op, swollen, just a bit. She looks really good. Congrats. She must be thrilled with these results. Yeah, wow. Okay, before, he had a rhinoplasty mid facelift, blepharoplasty, fat grafting. Whoa, no way, he looks so good, wow. Before, whew, that's amazing. Okay, this might be the best transformation in the video, what do you guys think? Let me know which transformation was the most day and night for you guys, let me know. That's crazy, huh, wow. He must be thrilled. So cool. That was really fun. Let me know if you like this kind of video. I had fun making it. Let me know what other celebrities you're interested in me analyzing. And right now you're looking at two videos that you can watch next. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>